Hi everyone! I'm so glad to see you guys. So this will be my Monday video and we're going to call this a little bit of a mini birthday haul. Is what we'll call it. Um, so let's just get into it. I went to a few different places. I hit Walmart. I hit my Ulta. Um, I went to a couple other. I really didn't get a huge amount of stuff but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I did get. So we'll start with my Walmart um, and Walgreens. Um, I picked up the Kiss Active Oval Nail Set. They're the things that I use to do my nails. That's part of the reason why they look so nice. Um, but I love love that brand. Uh, love the shape and stuff. I think it looks ends up on me anyway looking the most natural. So I got that, and to go with that, I actually, um, oh, no, hang on, I gotta grab something real quick, fix it, before it gets completely messed up. Okay, so along with that, at my Walmart, I grabbed a Sinful Colors. I don't, I know this won't come through right. Um, it's called Curry Up. And it's like a green, and there is like iridescent glitter in it. So it it does like a rainbow color in that kind of uh, green. Really love that. Um, then I hit my local Walgreens, and there they had sinful colors. They had a few of them that were um, clearance for 99 cents. And I got this one called Call You Later. Um, it's greens and golds and silver. And it is just a great, like, holiday color. Um, so those were great. And also, at the Walgreens, in the clearance stuff, they had Fergie, the Wet n' Wild Velvet Matte Lip Color in the Fergie line. They had this one, which is the standout. Um, it's that beautiful, like pale purpley violet with a hint of pink color. Love that. Um, and the lid on this one is great. And then I got the other one that was left. Um, the lid like doesn't want to stay on, <laughs> which is why I said oops and had to make sure to get it because it had like fallen off. Um, this one is called Creamsicle Kitty. This is going to be a trouble one. It all already has kind of come out too, but anyway, it's that top orangey peach color. It's a pretty color. The uh, it feels really good. Like I said, my major complaint is this packaging fits, but for some reason, the lid on this one doesn't really fit. So that would be my complaint about that. So I don't know. For the price, I'm okay with it. I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it, though, because how can I take it and touch up? I mean, obviously, this is not meant to last all day. I guess I just will have to do it if I know I'm going, like, to the store or whatever, throw this one on instead of something else. Um, but, yeah. Then what I have left in here um, is my Ulta. I went and I got one of the Pure Complexion Facial Sponges, the Konjac ones. I wanted to, I've been wanting to give those a try, so I'm looking forward to trying that. And I have a, um, it was a Too Faced, uh, they had a teddy bear brushes years ago, and they were synthetic, and I got a retractable kabuki brush, which was amazing, still amazing, but it smells like funky. I don't know what happened. I'm going to try washing it again. I got some new soap for the brushes and stuff. I'm going to try it again. Hopefully I can get the funk out. But um, I happened, like I said, I went to Ulta and they had this pr Prestige Kabuki bronzer brush. Um, and I was reading it and it actually is, um, it's actually a natural hair brush. So I was like, cool, and it was $2.99. So I got a nice Kabuki natural hair brush. Feels pretty soft for natural hair. Um, 
I usually get synthetic stuff, so this is nice. And for $2.99, it was worth the try. Um, the reason why I wanted to bust out my kabuki brushes again, let me throw my nails and nail polish back in my bag while I'm talking. Um, the reason why I wanted to do that is I've been, my skin's been kind of going through a change again, which is frustrating. And I am um, working with uh, doing a lot of theater. And when you do theater, you wear the thick makeup. So then when I'm not, I really don't want to wear thick makeup. Um, so I've been trying different foundations and stuff for a while. Um, I do love my Korean BB cream, but I also love powder foundations. And I like for my foundation, this is my personal you know, view on it on what I want. I want my foundation to be something that will be good for my skin or really not harmful for my skin. So I had been using Palladio's wet dry herbal um, powder foundation, which I love. I really do. Um, but before that, I was using pure minerals, um, but it's 27 or 28 dollars and they reformulated it from the last time I tried it. And when I was in Ulta today, I tried a little swatch and it does not feel, I didn't like the way it felt um, on my fingertips or when I rubbed it in my skin. I really didn't like the way it felt. So I'm hesitant to try that again. So that being said, for my birthday, and it just happened to arrive today, um, but for my birthday, I found Everyday Minerals I looked up on Makeup Alley and a bunch of different places. And so I sent off for a sample pack. So I thought I would share with you the sample pack that I got. Um, and you guys, like I said, I'm going to try these minerals. I'm going to see what else I can find online. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, powder foundation or, powder, or minerals or whatever. It doesn't look as nice. I have never had more compliments than when I wear mineral makeup compared to when I wear like a regular foundation. So I personally really love the the mineral makeups and stuff. Um, so if I can't find minerals I like, I will go back to the Palladio powder foundation. I think it's um, it's really nice stuff and it's not as bad as some other powder foundations out there. For you and the price is really good. I mean, I, I know Benefit has a powder foundation, Laura Geller, you have all those high end um, ones, but when you look at what it does and how your skin looks and everything, I've had my skin look just as good wearing that as I've had it look wearing my Pure Minerals. So while I want my foundation to be able to do good stuff for my skin, like the Pure Minerals, I I am a beauty on a budget and it looks great and as long as you cleanse your face and do a great uh, skincare routine, it's not going to hurt you as much. So anyway, the uh, but the everyday minerals, um, when you look, you could get, you just pay shipping for their sample uh, pack and it comes, you know, it came wrapped up, had a little bow on it and everything comes wrapped up in this paper that's great. It gives you like artist tips, um, like use less mineral powder than usual and gradually add more to create a seamless application. Um, it's also got testimonials on it and all this kind of stuff, which is neat. So then you get down to the samples and like I said, you can go on there, they'll color match you. You can take a little quiz it, and it'll ask questions to try and co color match you. Um, and they send this cute little paper and the front it kind of shows some of um, some of the things they are they are purely inspired 100% vegan handcrafted cosmetics exceptionally cool and environmentally conscious that's another thing I really love about um, about that this company what I'm learning about them um, on the back it tells you kind of how to use mineral makeup. Um, they also have brushes, which I've heard are really good. So then all the samples come in these little things, which are really cute. Um, some of them say everyday F minerals face. And then you've got the everyday minerals base. 
think all the rest are face. So yeah. So what I did is I took the um, the little quiz and I have oily skin. So I went ahead and aired on the side of caution to get, they have three different types of bases. Matte base, a semi-matte base, and a jojoba base. Um, the jojoba is supposed to be the more shiny. The semi-matte, of course, semi-matte and matte is more, they recommend if you have oily skin, go with the matte. So that's what I did. Um, when I took the quiz, it told me that my ba my possible two matches, you get two little bases, was in rosy fair 0C and rosy ivory 1C. So I've got the two different colors there. Um, it says on the back, I don't know, I won't clear up very well, but it uh, shows you on the back what they are. So you get two bases, one in a couple of different colors. You get um, a your choice uh, it gives you some different primers to choose from. I chose the yellow primer because I have rosacea, so I'm really red here. So when I wear powder foundation, I like to try and even out the tops here and around my nose where my rosacea is really red. Um, then I got, um, they also include a bronzer in it. I got Lanai in the Sand. It's a very, very, very light, it's the lightest bronzer that I saw on their things. Um, it was recommended for fair skinned people, so that was cool. Um, and then I got the Pearl Finishing Dust Finishing Powder. Because I did get a matte base, I figured in my finishing powder, I would want something that had a, a sheen to it to lighten up my, liven up, lighten, liven up my face. So there's that. And I was surprised I got two extras that they put in there. Um, one is called Polished. It says it's all over shimmer and another all over shimmer called Sunny. So I got those two, which I will um, I am going to look up to see exactly what kind of, if I can get an, an idea from their website of the color or whatever. Um, but yeah, that is the Everyday Minerals. I'm going to start giving those a try. Um, when I am ready to, when I've used them a bit, I will definitely be doing a trash or treasure with them, um, telling you guys how I like them and whether, uh, and their prices are pretty good. Um, the bases for like a regular sized one, it's like $15. That's not bad for mineral makeup for sure. You know, Bare Essentials is like 27, 30, around $30 for bare essentials. So I didn't think 15 was too bad. They also have a really neat buy two, get a gift. Um, and in that you buy two bases and you can get, um, they offer brushes or finishing powders and a bunch of different things that you could get as gifts, um, which I thought was really neat. So there is that. Um, yeah. So that is what I'm going to be trying, working towards reviewing for you guys as a Trash or Treasure review. Um, trying to get, I just dropped everything. Um, just trying to get through the holidays, doing some stuff. Um, and like I said, yeah, this is kind of a long video. But um, yeah, I'm going to be on the quest for my Holy Grail Foundation which I think will end up being, you know, I think we all find the ones we really love and use them for a while before we try stuff new and then go back to using them or whatever. But, um, so yeah, we're going to give this a try, see how we like it and, uh, go from there. So you guys have a wonderful day. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys again next time. All right. Catch you later. Bye.